just down now, going to start to fertilise our, our silage ground. Uh, this is the ground that we, some of the ground that we slurried uh, a couple of days ago now. But, uh, yeah, I'll also just say, uh, I'll switch over to a different camera mode. And I'll show you the app that I use for uh, setting up the fertiliser spreader. Now this is the app that I use for uh, setting up the fertilizer spreader. It's an actu it's actually an Amazon app. Uh, fairly simple to use. You've got uh, select a model up the top, which is the model of fertilizer. Uh, country you're in, obviously, which is Ireland, and uh, then whatever type of fertilizer you're using. So there's like there's all different uh, all different lists of fertilizers from uh, your can to all your NPK fertilizers, uh, right down like uh, there's potash. You can actually set it then for slugs, urea. Uh, you, the whole list is there. Of what what? Uh, well, it just depends what you want to spread. Um, lime as well, granular lime too. But uh, what we're using today is uh, the can, uh, and we are using nitromag Yara nitromag, which I have ticked, and you just click ready. Very simple. Uh, next up, then you go into your settings. Uh, we're spreading at 15 meters. Uh, we're traveling at 10 kilometers an hour. That's uh, the reason I'm just traveling at 10 is it's the speed the tractor does in uh, D3 at uh, 540 in economy. So uh, that's that's really the only reason. Uh, and then obviously then your kgs per hectare. Uh, we're going to be putting on. I've, I actually have it worked out. We're putting on 420 kgs per hectare, which is three and a half bags to the acre. Uh, so you just click ready and then display results. And once you click display results, then it comes up with all your settings. You've got uh, you've got where you have to set the vanes on the discs and then the the shutter opening speeds. Also, your if you were using a uh, delimiter as well, uh, it gives you all the details on that. But uh, so really all we need now is just to double check to make sure that the spreader settings is at 10.41 and uh, that the shutter opening position then is 19.5 so like it is it is very simple to use um, so between that and then we have the GPS then as well uh, you can spread very very accurately with it so I just want to run through our GPS that we use uh, it's a patchwork black box go have it about four years now, I think, four years in a round. Uh, hadn't really, had no issues with it. The only issue was I asked Ben to take it out of the tractor one day and he didn't know how the cable disconnected on, on the back of it and he damaged the cable, so I had to do a bit of repair from that. But got it back working ourselves and no hassle, we just had to solder a wire back onto it. Um, but apart from that, uh, no issues whatsoever. Uh, very good machine. Uh, its accuracy is up to, uh, but I think it's about seven inches, eight inches, something like that. Um, you can get more accurate, but you don't really need it. You're, if you can drive to within eight inches of where you need to be in the field when spraying or sweating fertilizer, you're going to be doing okay. Um, but you can you can upgrade. What I liked about it was it was easy to use, interchangeable between tractors very quickly. A couple of minutes changes it over. Um, and you can upgrade it. This machine here can be upgraded to a less less than an inch accuracy. It can be upgraded to for steering if you had a, a state the steering control for the tractor. Uh, so self steering uh, can be can be upgraded to. Uh, you can also have a if you had a sprayer or a fertilizer spreader that was suitable for this for the section control you can have it all hitched up to it and it'll work it so it'll connect to it connects to all the main uh, manufacturers and uh, yeah so that that's that's really why i liked it um but yeah we'll just run through quickly how to, to start it up uh, as you can see here it's showing full coverage up the top so we've got full, four bars full full status uh, it's recognizing the field that we're in uh, it's showing the big field here which it is the biggest field of this farm that we, we're on at the minute so once you go into a field and map it out it always remembers the field it's always stored in the in the memory of the machine so 
Uh, that's another thing that I liked about it. Um, so you just hit start and just recognizing then the farm and the field, which is correct. Now next up we have the width, the working width, which obviously can be changed from point one of zero one of a meter up to a hundred meters, whatever you wanted to put it to. Uh, we're at 15 meters straight. Uh, it can be changed from straight to a uh, curve, or there's another co uh, toward setting as well. But we, I always just walk off straight. Like in most fields, will have a straight edge that you can walk off straight side. Um, now that should open up. Yeah. So now we're in on the main screen. Uh, obviously, up here in the top corner, it's showing the the field. Just a little image of it. Uh, it's got 4.63 hectares in it. Uh, the displays on the screen is this is for your KPH. Uh, it shows uh, what speed you're doing, uh, the area that you've covered whilst uh, you're using it. Uh, the rate obviously is if you had it connected to like a sprayer or a fertilizer spreader or something like that, it'll show what rate you're putting it on it. Uh, distance covered then is just what distance travelled in kilometres around the field that you've done. Uh, status is obviously again of what bars or coverage you've got. Uh, this is if you want to do away with your AB line, which is sorry, no, this is a <laughs> there is no AB line. You had clicked on that once you actually get moving, and it creates an AB line, which we'll be doing up along the up along the straight edge that we'll be walking off. Um, this is your coverage on and off. So you just click on that, and it starts to mark the field every you drive down. So choose. You've got the coverage to walk off all the time. Uh, what else have we got? Up the top we've got, um, if you wanted to redo the boundary line, if you weren't happy with it or if you think that it's, you're missing a little bit of the field or there's a little bit of the field you can't use anymore, you can redo your boundary line by using that. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a good job. Once you get the AB walking then, you've also got up along the top here, there's a light bar system where you've got a green light couple of yellow ones then either side of it and red then so you can use the use that light I think it's a light bar system is it or a, it's a light system anyway you can use that then to your advantage uh, or use that for 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 keeping straight um, but yeah no it you'd also see that there's lines then comes uh, appears on the front of it once you've, you've set the AB line and you drive this uh, little red marker straight down the line um, can be a little bit uh, awkward at the start just to get used to it because I've got the ideally where you want the the mount to be is out on the end of the bonnet of the tractor that any little movement at all then on the steering wheel it moves the front of the tractor and it's, it would be easier to 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 keep it straight I've got it center of the cab at the front of the cab here so if you move a little bit to the left if it's telling you to go left uh, you'll end up maybe driving a little bit too far because the tractor front has to move slightly before the back end of it moves and I know it doesn't sound like much but it can make a difference when you're driving uh, to within a few inches of of where you need to be so but anyway we'll get her up and running and uh, you can you can maybe see it and see it working yeah so that's the general run of the GPS uh, but yeah once you get used to it it's, it's fairly easy to set up uh, I'm going to set this at 540 and our forward speed and we'll get moving and uh, we'll get the coverage on Yeah, so this is the, we'll put the AB line along here. The AB line, you just have to touch the screen and that brings on the, sets the A. And then once you, you just drive down the straight line down towards where you're, uh, once you, before you get to the headland, uh, click on the AB uh, line again and it, it finishes it off and puts the B in. So it's, it's fairly straightforward. we've got 
got some Dawkins starting to appear here in this field so we're gonna have to get the sprayer out and spray it. Just finishing off the fertilizer for today. I'm on the last run here at the minute. Uh, this is actually a field of grazing that I've there's a video I put up, oh it's back about a month ago, uh, when I was slurrying this field. Uh, there's really bad hill in it. And uh, they ended up one of our bulls and a couple of cows ended up out in it for the last few weeks and they've just clipped it right down. There's about four and a half acres in this field. And um, it's part of, it's part of a batch of, a batch of ground where we'll be grazing uh, some bulls this year. And uh, I just wanted to put a few bags of fertilizer on it just to kind of bring it along and put it back in line with the rest of it. Um, so it's not just that very, really very bare. So. If it gets a week or ten days now with this warmer weather coming, it should catch up on the rest of it easily enough. Um, yeah, got a good bit of our silage ground uh, fertilised today. Uh, there's got to 30 acres of it is done. Uh, there's another 12 acre field that I can't just fertilise at the minute because we let out 20 heifers on it. Uh, yesterday, uh, the grass is a little bit, a little bit further on in it, and we just wanted to let some stock out in it for about a week or so. Uh, let them eat it down, and uh, I'll slurry it and fertilise it then. So, so that's really it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. It's a little bit different than normal. Uh, I like I have been threatening to to make a video on my GPS and. Uh, also on the Amazon app as well and just show how they both can work together and uh, conjo in conjunction with each other like to spread accurate and evenly as as you can and like they, they, they do work very well together like there's no doubt like you can set up the fair laser spread as accurate or as good as you like but if you're not able to drive in the correct position in the field 15 meters apart then you're never going to have it spread that accurately. You'll always have overlaps, big overlaps and strips and maybe pieces missed. And uh, like Since we got the GPS, there's no doubt our fair laser uh, has been spread a lot more even and more accurately. So 
they do work very well together but anyway um, that's really it for now it's 8 o'clock on a Saturday evening and it's long after time I got finished so I hope you enjoyed this video I'm just getting a phone call uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one